Learning these basic animations will help you stand out from the crowd. This is absolutely necessary if you want to build a recognizable brand. And there's no better way in doing that than creating your very own call to action animations in Premiere Pro. We're going to start with something simple like this 3D social media animation. Then we're going to make this beautiful like animation to remind the viewer to drop a like. Lastly, we're going to make the brand new glowing YouTube subscribe button. Let's start with animation number one. To create this 3D animation, simply put them next to each other in the timeline like this. Go to the effect library and find the basic 3D effect. Once you've found it, drag it on the first clip and make sure it's selected. Go to the effect controls and in here you can see the basic 3D effect. Move the player to the first frame of the clip and set a swivel property keyframe. We're gonna use this to create the 3D effect. Set the swivel to minus 90 degrees to make the logo disappear. Then go to the play it and move further in time. Set the swivel property to zero degrees. Now the animation will come in like this. Again, move further in time and set another keyframe. Grab the play it again and move to the end of the clip. Now set the swivel property to 90 degrees to make it disappear again. Looks great, but it doesn't really feel smooth. To make it smooth, expand the swivel velocity curves. Select the second keyframe and pull the lever like this. This will make the animation end slowly. Now grab the third keyframe and pull the lever to the left. That way the animation will start smoothly and go faster. Next, with movement comes motion blur and to create that, simply find the directional blur effect in the effects library and drag it on your first clip. Then go to the effect controls. The animation is moving to the left so we're gonna set the direction to 90 degrees. Now go to the first frame of the clip and set a blur length keyframe. Then set the blur length to 20. Grab the play it and move it until it's positioned on the second swivel keyframe. This is where the movement stops so we're gonna set the blur length to zero. Move further in time to the moment where the animation is about to start and set another keyframe. Again, grab the play it and match it with the last swivel keyframe. Set the blur length to 20 again. Now to finish it off, expand the velocity curves of the blur length and pull the levers in the exact same way as the swivel property. That way the motion blur will fit the movement. Now you can use the motion properties to position your logo wherever you like. Now of course we want the same animation on the other logos as well. Let me show you. Hold down Ctrl and select the motion properties, basic 3D effect and the directional blur. Then hit Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy these effects. Head over to the timeline and select all the other icons. Press Ctrl plus V on your keyboard to paste the effects. And there you go guys, that looks beautiful. Now you can actually download amazing template animations like these from the Storyblocks plugin inside Premiere. Just type in whatever you need, for example subscribe. And there you go, thousands of assets you can download and use without leaving Premiere. Oh, and this also works in After Effects, by the way. Starblocks is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Now, Starblocks' curated library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and so much more for just one predictable subscription cost. So you never have to pay an expensive price per clip ever again. Now, by choosing from thousands of pre made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve, you will take your videos to the next level and speed up your creative workflow a lot. Create better videos with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, they are super essential to creating professional looking videos at scale. Oh, and anything you download with Starblocks is 100% royalty free, so you have nothing to worry about. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Or just click the link down below. And now let's get to animation number two. To create this beautiful like button, simply find a thumbs up PNG on the internet. You can literally find it anywhere. Just make sure the thumb itself is transparent. Go to the toolbar and click and hold the rectangle tool to reveal the other shapes. Select the ellipse tool. Now in the program monitor, drag an ellipse on top of your icon. You can hold down shift to create a perfect circle. Then hold down control and drag it in the middle of your screen. This will snap it to the center. Back in the timeline, drag the shape layer underneath the icon so that your thumbs up becomes visible again. Now we're gonna change the gray color of the shape to white. Make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. In here, expand the shape layer properties and find the fill color selector. Once it's open, set the color to white. Then click on OK. There you go. Now we're gonna make the white shape reveal in a waveform. To do that, go to the effects library and find the wave warp effect. Then drag it on top of the shape layer. Head over to the effect controls and here you can see the wave warp effect. Before we adjust it, use the position of the 
circle a little downwards so that we can see the edge. We're doing this so that we can see the waves clearly. Next in the wave warp effect, adjust the wave height and the wave width to your liking. And now we're gonna make the waves fill up the thumb icon. To do that, we're simply gonna animate the position property. Move the player to the first frame of the clip and set a position keyframe. Then move it all the way to the bottom. Grab the player and move further in time. Adjust the position until the waves are fully visible. Expand the velocity curves and select the second keyframe. Then pull the lever like this to ease in the keyframe. This will make the animation end smoothly. Next, we're gonna fix this spill around the icon. And to do that, simply find the opacity effect in the effects controls. Then click on the ellipse mask icon. This will create a circular shape mask on the wave effect. Now, in the program monitor, adjust it so it fits inside the icon. And there you go. Now it's time to animate the entire animation's beginning and end. To do that, select both the clips in the timeline and right click them. Then choose nest. Give it a name, for example, like button and click on OK. There you go. Now go to the effects library and find the transform effect. Then drag it on the nested sequence. Now make sure the clip is selected and go to the effect controls. In here you can basically animate it however you want. I want it to come in rotating from the bottom to the middle. To do that, set a rotation and position keyframe on the transform effect. Then go to the play it and move it to the first frame of the clip. Now adjust the rotation and position to wherever you want, as long as it's out of the frame. Once that's done, expand the velocity curves of both the transform properties. Select the second keyframe and pull the lever so the animation will ease out into the frame. Of course, do that for both properties. Then scroll down a little and increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. That looks great. Next, we're gonna make the animation disappear. To do that, move the playhead further in time and set a scale keyframe. Then move the playhead to the very end of the clip and set the scale all the way to zero. Again, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the first keyframe to ease in the animation. There you go. Now you can use the motion properties to place your animation wherever you like. And now it's time to create this brand new YouTube glowing subscribe button. Now to start out, click the rectangle tool in the toolbar. Go to the program monitor and drag a shape like a subscribe button. When that's done, go to the window menu on top and find essential graphics. When it's open, you can see the shape layer you just created in here. Now on the bottom, increase the corner edge of the shape. That will make it look more like a button. Next, scroll down a little and make sure the fill color is set to white. Now head over to the toolbar and find the text tool. Then in the program monitor, click inside your button and type in the text subscribe. You can of course use whatever font you like. Next, we're gonna create the glowing edge. To do that, right click the shape in essential graphics. Choose duplicate. Drag it all the way to the bottom like this. Next, scroll down a little to change the color of the shape. When the color picker is open, set the color type to linear gradient. Now set the left color to yellow and the right one to pink. Then click on OK. All right, now you wanna scale up the shape so that it becomes visible behind the button. There you go. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really match on the left and the right side. To fix that, simply adjust the edges like this. And there you go. Next, we're gonna animate the colors using Lumetri. This time, we're gonna access Lumetri from within the effects library. Simply find it and drag it on top of the bottom layer. Now the Lumetri effect will only work on our shape. Make sure Lumetri is selected and go to the effect controls. Expand the color wheels and match tab and scroll down a little. We're gonna animate these color wheels to change the colors. To do that, move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then set a color wheel keyframe. Next, pull all the color wheels to the color yellow or whichever you prefer. Then grab the playhead again and move a little further in time. Now pull all the colors in the color wheel to cyan. When that's done, select the first keyframe and hit Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then move a little further in time again and hit Ctrl plus V to paste it. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. This will create a color cycle. That already looks amazing, but now it's time to animate our clicking cursor. To do that, simply drag a picture of a cursor on top of your clip. Then in the effect library, find the transform effect. Drag it on top of your cursor and make sure the clip is selected. In the effect controls, adjust the position so that the cursor is out of the frame. Then set a position keyframe. Grab the playhead again and move further in time. Adjust the position so that the cursor is now on top of your button. Just like you've learned before, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the second keyframe to smoothen out the animation. Then of course increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. Next, we're gonna create this clicking effect. To do that, make sure your button layer is selected. Then go to the effect controls and move to the moment your cursor is on the button. Set a scale keyframe and move a little further in time. Now set the scale to 95. Grab the playhead again and move further in time. Now set the scale back to 100. And there you go, that is a beautiful subscribe button animation. Next, we're gonna create this beautiful text to logo animation in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.